Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Once a week, I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it with some live coding. In this episode, I'm going to cover some language features that have actually been removed from C++ with the C++ 17 specification. So there are two language features specifically that are being removed in C++ 17. We are again using our compiler explorer for this demo, and we're going to start in C++ 14 mode. So the first thing that we want to cover is the register keyword. The register keyword would specify to the compiler that we want this variable b to always be stored in a register during use for performance. And that is pretty much meaningless with modern compilers because they do such a good job of allocating registers for commonly used data. So this has been actually removed from the language, and as you can see here, warning, register class specifiers deprecated and incompatible with C++ 1C. So at the moment, I am using a custom build of Clang that is the latest Git version, and I'm in C++ 14 mode. But you can see a conforming compiler, if I put this in C++ 1Z mode, will actually error and not allow you to compile the code. So then the second feature that has been removed from the core language itself is kind of interesting to me, and that is a Boolean increment. So if I wanted to do plus plus of b, and let's have this start out as false, and just for curiosity's sake, we'll return it. We can see that we've actually, b has started as 0, and that it has been incremented to the value 1 and has been returned. But you can also see here, warning, incrementing expression of type bool is deprecated and incompatible with C++ 1C. The same error we got before. And with the latest and greatest clang, we get now two compiler errors. We get one for not allowing register and one for not allowing incrementing expression of type bool. And I don't know the full reasoning for why increment of bool has been deprecated from the language, but there you have it. It could be interesting to further increment it again and put us back in C++ 14 mode. And I guess that's maybe the reason why it's meaningless, because incrementing is a value that's already true. What does that do? It's more true? I don't know. So those are the two language features that are being removed in C++ 17, but there are also some standard library things. And I am now going to switch over to the official version of the Compiler Explorer, which has GCC 6.2 available, and we are going to keep it in 1Z mode. So, AutoPointer was created before Move Semantics existed. And basically, it is a completely broken thing. AutoPointer is intended to automatically manage the lifetime of something that was created on the heap, but it does a very poor job of it, and it is very easy to get yourself in trouble. So we can see here that it has been deprecated. Our compiler is not yet giving us an error, but a conforming compiler with a conforming standard library implementation will, when C++ 17 is released, actually generate an error for this code. So the obvious replacement for this is unique pointer, which does everything that auto pointer does, but better. And we can even see here in this very trivial case with all optimizations turned on the unique pointer simply goes away because we're not assigning any value to it but the auto pointer is not able to be as inlined and as optimized and we're not even using it for anything so the next thing that goes away is random shuffle So we're not getting any warning from the compiler yet on this, but it has been removed officially from the language from C++17, and random shuffle is kind of broken because it does not use a good 
random number generator. It is permitted to use standard rand, which is permitted to not be a very good random number generator, and it is technically also permitted to even allow data races for a thread unsafe version of the standard random number generator. Even though that's not true in, I guess, any modern compiler or any mo modern platform. So then, finally, what we're going to discuss today is a handful of things like standard bind first. Now the idea is that you would bind the first argument of a function to some known value and then you would do something like, and we would expect this to return 4. But the first problem with it is that it actually requires a object type. It does not work with anything that's callable. And there you can see what we have, where we're really expecting a function that simply returns 4, and even though we have all optimizations turned on, the compiler is doing an awful lot of work here. And I don't know if you noticed, but it actually took some time to get a response back. And the reason bind first, bind second, and several other old school functional things are going away is there's simply no reason to do things like this anymore. You can use standard bind, And we can see here that using standard bind, the compiler is able to fully optimize this and just return the value 4. Or, even better, you can use lambdas. And this is the most efficient both in compile time and in runtime, potentially, depending on the complexity of what you're doing. So uh, there's a lot of cleanup in functional, there's the random shuffle going away, register going away, and increment of bool going away. So C++ standard committee is working towards deprecating and removing some of the most unused and least meaningful aspects as they move forward. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.